Hey guys, what is going on? It's Savage here, and today I'm coming at you with a Madden 18 Weekend League video, and judging by the title, it's pretty important, so if you guys could smack that thumbs up, because I need every single like on this video to make me feel a little bit better. Now, if you saw on the thumbnail, you might have saw something red on it, something really, really red in the middle that said 11, 12, 13. I lost back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games today, and I want to I wanna make this video primarily for those who get discouraged in Madden, and those who make excuses in Madden, and those who might not feel they're the best at Madden. Now, over the years, I have gotten progressively better and better and better, and I'm thinking in 18 right now is probably the best consistent Madden I've ever played. And for those who might be in the boat where this might be like their first or second Madden where they're really trying to get better, and they don't feel like they're really doing anything, this video's for you. If you're playing Weekend League and you blame the game a lot, this game is for, this, this video is for you. And, and if you're just the, the person who might just get discouraged very easily, th this video is 100% for you. Now, what I want to talk about right here is the stuff that I go up against in Madden today. Now, this, all of these games that you're seeing were literally played like two hours ago. And it, it actually blew my mind how some of the stuff was happening. Now, of course, fluke happens. I guarantee it. It happens to you. It happens to me. But you have to separate yourself from blaming the game to just letting it go. Today, for whatever reason, like right here, you're going to see I'm blocking 7 against his 4. My right tackle doesn't move. He shoots right through the gap. I had to force it. That is called a tackle lock glitch. As soon as that happened in this game, I immediately got triggered and I 100% blew the game. I lost the game on that play and we were in like the beginning of the second quarter, which is disgusting because my mind, I couldn't put mind over matter today and I don't know why. And a lot of people struggle doing that. You got to realize that your biggest opponent in Madden is your mentality because the second you lose your cool, you'll lose the game. I lost my cool in every game today because after I lost the first one into the second one, I went in there mad. After I lost that one, I went into the third game even more mad. Once you lose a game in weekend league, take a break. Big time, take a break. Don't play anymore. But what I definitely want to talk about also is other flukes and stuff, not just the tackle lock glitch when your opponent might make a ridiculous read and they catch it or your opponent might just somehow some way convert a fourth down or your opponent might somehow some way just do something that that gets under your skin and you're like e and you blame the game you immediately say man this game sucks this game is nothing i want to break this game that was going through my head today and that is something that i always tell you guys once something bad happens just remember the thing that happened to you could easily happen against your opponent for you. And then guess what? The game isn't so bad, isn't it? If you get an aggressive catch in, tri in triple coverage, the game isn't bad. But if your opponent gets an aggressive catch in triple coverage, the game sucks and you don't want to play anymore. I couldn't get over that today. My opponent was making these ridiculous... Like, you're going to see how I lose this game. And I literally was on the brink of just breaking my controller into a 50 billion trillion pieces because I could not catch a break. And, and I, it wasn't even that. It was me just complaining. I was complaining. And that's what this is. Like I said, this video is for the excuse makers out there. Look at that. He's falling for, for those yards. I'm screaming at my monitor like, bro, how? How is he getting these? And then look at that read. What is that read? He threw it right in front of Tlaib and LaShawn McCoy freaking mossed him. I don't even know what he did, man. That's a freaking 500k corner, and that is how we lose right there. That should have been a pick, and we could have went down the field and got the W. Like I said, when you lose a game, you shouldn't start another one right away. Your boy started another one right away. That is where I really, really messed up, because in this game now, I could have killed this kid. I could have absolutely demolished this kid. I didn't. I played dumb. I played way too aggressive. The two things I always tell you guys to do in every one of my videos to win games is time of possession control and run the football. I did neither of that. You're going to see me rarely run it. You want to know why? Well, I did get Andrew Luck and I got the new Will I got um I got Andrew Luck and on defense I got a new right uh left outside linebacker. I just played Willie McGinnis 89 at left outside linebacker, but I wasn't even trying to pass the ball with luck. It was just like, I won at one play touchdowns. It's right here. He gets right through. I had no idea how we missed so many tackles right there. Let's say he is my read down the sideline for a touchdown for this guy. So what do I try to do? I try to come out and try to get a one play touchdown. I try to go deep. What am I doing? I, I had three routes underneath just booty naked. And I just decided to throw that stupid pass that just should never have been thrown. It's because I was getting mad. And I can't let that stuff, oh, I can't let, you can't, you, like, it isn't for everybody. I'm just saying I, because I literally just blew today. I blew today. Today was just a, a literally a terrible, terrible Madden day for me. 
you can't ever let the game influence how you play it. If something bad that goes wrong, like if something that you feel like is kind of the game's fault happens, let it go. I couldn't let it go today, man. And I'm screaming at my, I was like, I was going to Skype with people. I was, I was on FaceTime with my friend and I'm yelling at him. He's like, uh, we're just, he's laughing at me. I'm dude, I'm just so, I was so heated all day. And I'm, I got, and I got to the point where at the end, like you're going to see in the third video, just, uh, or in the third game, you're going to just see, wow. You're going to be like, wow, Sav, wow. Is this even you playing? Because a lot of you guys know weekend league is my thing. That's kind of the thing that I love on, I love doing on YouTube. And for me to suck in something that I love really, really, really hurt my feelings. It hurt. It hurt bad. Cause you're going to see this right here. That's Earl Thomas, bro. That's a 600 K card with 91 zone how how does that happen but wait it gets better it gets better on the very like next play hit stick fumble richard sure that just got the my blood going i blocked the kick but it doesn't really matter because like i said i do lose all three games but that's the little things that eventually like it's like a boxing fight you know you get punched you get punched again you're like ah, i shake it off but if you get punched 650 times in the head you know, it's not like it it's not like oh it's just one punch. Now it's you're at 600, 601, 602. Sit and it's just like how much more can you take and today for whatever reason, my tolerance is usually up here. Today it was all the way down here. And you can't let that get done. That's why I make that's why I'm making this video like that terrible read. What am I doing? What am I doing? And then this drives me crazy. Ready? What is that? He ju and that like that just made me mad and even though I knew I made the bad read, I was like, "Oh, I'm going to get a tackle. I'm going to stop him. He's not going to be able to get a pick six at least." He got to pick six just because he juked and it made me so mad. So then right here, I was like, I got to go back to my roots. And I, re I, re I regained my composure right here. Not for long, though, of course, because I'm an idiot. But it just it just goes to show you that even the players that some would consider very, very good at the game can lose off of composure. The game Madden is chess, except with a controller in your hand and football players in a virtual form. It's all about what you can do up here to to limit what you do in the game because if you're if you're going into the game like i'm just gonna run it i'm gonna play cool i won't get i won't get angry odds are you'll win because you're going to at least know self-control you're gonna not want to force anything but when you go into a game and you start to like force fumbles and not recover them not get interceptions that should be interceptions get mossed even though you have the best secondary in the game it gets to you and normally i can shake that kind of stuff off and bounce back and, and usually take a w but today was just not that day now right here what you're about to see is very chaotic you're about to see me get absolutely just dominated because after the first two l's in a row like after i took two l's in a row i hopped into this game like screw everything man i'm about to drop 100 bro that was not the case. <laughs> Your boy was not ready for this one, man. I couldn't, dog. I can't even tell you how badly I was just freaking out. And I, that's why I don't live Con Weekend League. If you want to stream, though, I might stream a couple of games later just because it was so funny. But, bro, I could not even. I can't even explain it. I can't even explain it. This dude started tackle locking in the game at the end of the game, which really started to trigger me. And I was like, okay, I don't even want to play anymore. We just lo look at that, just tackle lock, and then he as we throw alert. Cause what, like, if you watch, I think I don't know what YouTuber. I don't. I think a YouTuber released how to do the tackle lock glitch. I'm sure you guys have heard about it, if, especially if you have Twitter and stuff. But bro, it was just making me so. I know how to stop it too. But today I was just, I was just so mad. I was just like, screw it. I'm putting everybody deep. I wasn't blocking nobody, so it was my fault. It was one, look at that, another bad read. What, you could just tell, man, it was like I was, and then he breaks two tackles and is gone. Like, you could 100% tell it was not a good day for Papa Sad. I mean, but that's okay, though, because I'm a real human being. I lose a Madden, yes. You lose a Madden, I can lose a Madden, too. And I just wanted to make this video just to show you, man, never feel discouraged. I still got 12 games left. I'm trying to go 12 and 0 to get 21 and 4. But with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope if you ever come to the point where you feel like you can't win, take a break. Take a break. Put your controller down. Eat some peanut butter crackers. If you're allergic to peanut butter, get some cheese. If you're lactose intolerant, eat plain saltine crackers. But fellas, smack a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Have a wonderful rest of your night.